first of all uh, you know uh, congratulations to everyone for celebrating the gis day uh, it's a pleasure to speak to everyone on this particular occasion if you look at traditional analytics traditional analytics captures a lot of numbers they may be accompanied by photos and videos of what they are talking about however the information of where the event is happening and the context in which that event is happening is missing at times what geospatial intelligence does is adds the element of location and time to the data's context and over a period of time that information can lead to unlocking the reasons why certain events or certain things are happening or will give you the ability to predict what can happen and prevent it from happening if it is adverse from before it happens if you add the layer of drone intelligence on that geospatial data from drones then our platforms like the q6v2geo unlock the ability to capture this geospatial information in not just one way of capturing the information or gathering the data but in multiple spectrums and that information is available at an unprecedented fidelity that can allow you to unlock insights like never before so when you look at information availability and if the information availability in various industries is not of the right fidelity it can lead to inaccurate decision making and that can lead to potentially losses in terms of uh, or losses or risks to safety if you look at mining there are very very large mining sites and the information available made available through geospatial information of the fidelity that perhaps drones can deliver can unlock use cases such that ensuring that there is safety assessment of all the haul roads there is better estimation of what has been excavated as well as ensure that other compliances are met uh, during the process if you look at agriculture instead of taking very very broad information about a location that is presently available through satellite data you can go to sub millimeter level accuracy of understanding the kind of health issues or stresses that crops may have locally and you can apply very specific inputs to those local areas if required to ensure that not just the input cost comes down but the quality of produce goes up by a very big margin thereby improving its overall uh, cost and price in the market as well in terms of urban planning again making the state of an urban community transparent to the administrators making sure that all the aspects of cleanliness transport management uh, vendor management hawking and any other issue that may be there all of that can be governed with far greater clarity of on ground realities and assessment of those on ground realities including tax collection So when you look at uh, information that is available from satellites uh, there is a limitation in satellite information of the fact that the detailed three dimensional accurate data as well as the fidelity of the data has certain limitations as well as there are occlusions in the data for a specific period of time depending on the mistiness of the environment or the cloud cover of the environment and therefore drone intelligence gives you the next level of information vis-a-vis -a, -vis a satellite satellites can direct our attention and drones can go and inspect and make sure that we have centimeter level precision or millimeter level precision if required to make the necessary decisions for the local information so if you look at how india's policy landscape has changed in the geospatial domain india isn't just changing its policies it is actually enabling the build up of a 
massive digital infrastructure. If you look at the Swamitva scheme, it is already a groundbreaking transformational scheme changing rural livelihoods. If you look at the scheme under the Operation Dronagiri, then we are unlocking the potential of geospatial information and making its use uh, popular in not just government but private users as well. And many similar programs like land survey mapping and large land mapping areas are being used to create the next level of infrastructure in the country using drones as well. So if you look at leadership, leadership needs to make decisions and analytics, information adds to our intuition to make those decisions better. When you add the geospatial layer, the geospatial intelligence layer to that mix of analytics and data, it can fine tune our intuition and base it and get it closer to the ground realities. Make sure that our decisions are holistic and are in context to the real situation on ground. And that will change everything in terms of outcomes and speed of change. Mm -hmm.